Predicting the stars of tomorrow is anything but a science. It's even harder in a sport which comprises show jumping, running, swimming, shooting and fencing. Samantha Murray won silver at the London Games in modern pentathlon. She's hoping to compete in her third games in Tokyo 2020. But she's also helping school children in Qatar experience a sport few have ever sampled. So today I want to teach you how to be fencers. We're used to seeing young children playing football, tennis and athletics, but not many get chance to fence. Yeah, you don't really wake up in the morning and think, I'm going to be a modern pentathlete when you're 11. But I grew up on a farm in uh, the northwest of England, and we had some horses there. So I was horse riding pretty much as soon as I could walk. And I was about 11 years old. Like every child that's coming today, I loved fencing, and I took to it immediately. And the shooting, I seemed to have a good, good eye for a shot as well. Um, so I entered a pentathlon when I was about 12. And, um, and I just knew I'd found something that I wanted to pursue further. And you don't realise, because I hit Olympic medalists every day, and it's a part of my job now, I'm a professional athlete, um, but when you come into schools and you see how inspired they are, I feel honoured to be in this position, and it's a, it's a delight as well, I love coming into schools and running the workshops, especially fencing, because it's fun and everyone can pick it up immediately. For a country like Qatar, which is about to host the 2019 World Athletics Championship, and then the FIFA World Cup in 2022, getting young people involved in sports is essential. The Doha English Speaking School has seen a 15% growth in participation since the Rio Olympic Games this summer. More than 90% of its students are now enrolled in sports clubs. And it's happening in, in Doha at the moment. The place is invigorated with a feeling of the World Cup 2022 and hopefully with the Olympics as well. And I think you know, we, we as schools have got a responsibility to almost plant that seed of enthusiasm for sport and getting children involved in as many different activities as possible. I think you know, it's my job as head teacher to find that one thing that the children are interested in. It may not be football, it may not be the mainstream sports, it could be sports like fencing, you know, like shooting. You know, if the children can just find that one thing they're interested in, I think that can raise self-esteem, raise morale, and make children feel good about themselves. Two steps back. Duck. As for Sam herself, she still wants to add to her silver in London. She finished second in the Champion of Champions event in Doha this week, but Olympic gold here in 12 years might be pushing it. You can do pentathlon until you're about 35, I'd say, realistically. Um, so 2028, 20, I'd, I'd be too old. Would I? Hmm. I no way. I'd be, gosh, I'd be, I'd be really old then. Well, the average age of an Olympic athlete is about 24. But if Qatar does host the Olympic Games in 2028, we could see some of these youngsters competing in Doha in 12 years' time.